As you can probably imagine, the number of macros you have could pretty much grow quite massively if you're going to use a macro to open every potential form in your database. Now there is a slight way around this, and that is by using the sub macro. So instead of creating the open employee form, open new employee form, open the pets form, open the children's form, open the shares form, we would simply have one macro called CMD open forms, and then a number of sub macros within that. So how do we go about creating a sub macro? We go to create macro. This is our macro one, but we're going to save this before we even add any actions to it at all. That's CMD open forms, because it's going to be able to open a number of forms. And before we can open any forms, we need to make sure that each little section is separated off. That separation is done by the use of a sub macro. So over here on the action catalog, which if it's not open, we can open from here. We need to select sub macro and then double click. And you'll see that that inserts a sub macro here. So it says sub macro and then end sub macro. So anything between these two markings is effectively a different macro within the main macro. So I'm going to call this new employee. And this one will do exactly the same as our other macro, which is to open a form, the employees form, and have an add data mode. And then we'll do our little maximize as well. So everything within the sub macro new employee is to open the form and maximize the window. So let's save. Now we can compress sub macro new employee so that it's separate. We then click down to the next line and double click sub macro again to get sub macro two. So we'll call it edit employees. And that's going to open the form. FRM employees, normal mode, everything's the same. And then add in our maximize window. And then save to top that up. Now we have two sub macros, one called new employee, one called edit employees. They differ from each other, that they are subsections of this main macro, but they don't run on. So if I were to run it, it doesn't run that one and then run that one. I can call these two sub macros completely independently of each other. And I could go ahead and add a second, add a third, add a fourth, add a fifth sub macro that is going to open different forms in different ways. So let's close that macro save the changes and look how we record and use those macros slightly differently. If I open up my menu choices, design mode, these are my three buttons, we know they work. Let's take a copy of those buttons, those two, copy and paste, move them down so they're below the others. Insert a little horizontal line between them. So this new add button, Let's go to other first and give it a sensible name, CMD new two and CMD edit two. I want these two buttons not to run the straightforward macro we've already created, but the sub macros contained within CMD open forms. So add new event. Don't want it to run that one, please. I want it to run open forms and the new employee. So you can see it's the name of the macro dot the name of the sub macro. I want this one to run the open forms macro and then edit employees sub macro. Save, view. So this one opens that one. And this one opens that one. So that's a sub macro. They're inside one main macro but then we effectively give them little subheadings, allowing us to then call that section separately to the whole macro or to a separate macro as we've done previously. So instead of having that one, that one, that one, we'd put all of those inside one macro with a major heading of, in our case, CMD open forms, and then we call them as subsections, sub macros, whatever terminology you want to use. The tricky bit is to remember to add the sub macro section in first before you add the commands in. And you add the sub macro section in by clicking into the next command choice line and then double clicking sub macro. And that gives me, in this case, sub macro three. I can always get rid of it as a little cross there. Which leaves me with sub macro edit employees and sub macro new employee. 
by the use of sub macros we can tidy up our macro section so that we don't have hundreds and hundreds of macros in there we have 20 30 main macros that all have little sub macros within them that do a variety of different jobs